Today I will be showing you 10 new features in Microsoft Teams, including how to look younger on video. The first new feature allows you to pin messages in chat, keeping those important messages or reminders at the top. This feature has been in the channel conversation for a while, so it's great to see it here in the standard chat. On the right, you have more actions. You can unpin this message or view where it is in chat in case you need to see the rest of the thread. The next new feature allows you to schedule meetings from chat. Just click this icon to open the scheduling window and it will include the people from the chat. You can add others if needed. Sticking with the calendar, you can now change the status of the appointment in a similar way in how you would do it in Outlook. You can also show that you're working elsewhere. These options are also available in the appointment. The video preview has always been mirrored for us, but looks normal to everyone else. This can be confusing when the presenter is referring to notes on the screen. Within the settings, you can now switch this off, and now everything looks somewhat normal. Staying within these settings, you now have a brightness control for those dimly lit rooms. Soft focus can help you look 10 years younger, but no promises. These settings are also available when you join the meeting. The sixth new feature allows you to edit presenter mode. I click here to share. I'm gonna select standout and I want to share a window. This is a preview of what the attendees can see. I can change my position. I can make myself really small or really large. This next feature is not so new, but not a lot of people use it. So I thought we'd share it here. Sometimes when you're in a meeting and everyone is on camera, your internet connection may struggle. Next time, try this. Click here and select turn off incoming cameras. Their camera will remain on for everyone else, they're just off for you, which often improves the connection quality. Teams files can now be accessed from OneDrive. If you don't see the team here, click more places and select the team from this area. These folders are the channels within this team and here are the files within this channel. I can open the files from here, but if I want to go to the team, I can click here. When I click the files tab, I can see the same files. I don't know about you, but I've never been comfortable with files opening within Teams. I just feel boxed in, and I often click here to open in desktop. There's now a new feature where I can set this as my file open preference. I just go to settings, select files, and here I can select my preference. The 10th new feature can be found in this video here, which shows you how to create workflows to automate tasks and reminders in Microsoft Teams.